I want to talk to you real quick about recommended equipment. Now, this is more audio than video. There's so many video options out there for different type of cameras. There's, you know, you can use the webcam on most computers that come with most computers, like the iMac. That's what I use. I have a large iMac that I do a lot of recording with, um, and that's you know that has a great you know camera on it, just like Mac laptops. But I'm sure you know in the PC world, all those cameras are, are just as good. So if you do a Skype interview where you're both going to be on video, it's kind of good enough, so you don't have to be like broadcast studio quality like TV shows have. But if you wanted to, you could certainly buy a better standalone video camera to shoot video if you're going to do, like if you're going to do like a hardcore podcasting show where you're on camera in a little studio setup and you have guests come in and things like, well, then you probably want more expensive gear, but it's not required in order to have a high traffic podcast with a lot of traffic. So you don't necessarily need it, but audio is pretty important and you'll need it for interviews, to do voiceover things if you're gonna create content, like you know, like this teaching, for example, uh, like teaching this way with slides and things, um, you need to have a, a good uh, microphone. So I wanna just give you a couple quick tips on stuff that I've personally used that I really like. And uh, so in the first picture you see here, by the way, it's a terrible picture, I'm sorry. It's saturated, I had to adjust it. But what I'm trying to show you in this uh, picture, I literally just took this, is the microphone rig here on the right. And it's on this little adjustable arm. And uh, this microphone is uh, an Audio Technics mic. I'm gonna jump over to Amazon here in a second and show you what it looks like, where to find it. And, um, but it has like a pop filter as you can see in front of it. So when you talk, it doesn't get, you know, the, the p -p -p -p, the popping noise uh, that P's in certain letters get when you, when you talk. So it's important to have one of those. Um, this is a little, roadie robotic arm that you can get. Uh, but this whole rig is probably mm, $300 in that area, give or take. So it's not super expensive. It's not like going to spend five grand or anything. Um, and I'm, I'm literally just took this photo. It's literally while I'm producing uh, like some of these lessons for you. So this is almost like in inception. You're seeing like, you know, video within the video of me making the video to teach you a video uh, or whatever. Uh, so anyways, that's just uh, a picture real quick of what I'm using and I recommend, uh, which is very, very high quality. And as you can hear, the audio is is very, very clear. It's a very good product uh, for not tons of money. You know, there are mics you can get for thousands of dollars, but this is a pretty good one for a couple hundred bucks or so. Uh, and so I'll jump over to Amazon and actually show you what this actual product looks like. So over here on Amazon, this is the mic I just showed you, the photo of that I'm actually using. It's the Audio Technica AT 2020 USB version. Um, and as you can see here, it's uh, $137. And uh, it's a pretty good price for a very, very good microphone. But you need to know, like, if you're gonna set up a proper like little rig for it, like on an arm or use it properly, uh, you're gonna need some other products to go with it. Uh, the first one is that pop filter I told you about. So you can see this frequently bought together. Uh, you can get the pop filter and the mic for $142. Uh, you can get a pop filter separately. It's like, it's cheap. It's like $5.41, this one. The other thing you're going to need is though, you're going to need uh, this anti-vibration holder for the mic. So you'll need that. You know, that adds a little bit more, like another eight bucks. Uh, and then really, you're going to need um, the arm itself which the, the roadie arm is, uh, I don't know, let's search for it real quick live here. Let's see, roadie. So yeah, so this one is $99. So you get this arm, you get the little shock absorber thingy I just showed you, you get the pop filter, and then of course the mic, and then you have everything you need for a great rig that you can attach to your desk, you can pull it close to you, push it away from you, but it's great for doing any kind of audio voiceover um, or to have someone in your company do it. Uh, so this is a highly recommended solution. Again, it's probably going to total, I don't know, 300 bucks, 280. Uh, and it's, a, it's, just, it's just a really good product. So I want to show you one more recommendation. This is a $30 product. It's a headset with a little microphone on it. And um, it's a headset that you need another like set of earphones to. So if you have kind of like, um, you know, like Bose, a Bose headset, or you have uh, like Beats by Dr. Dre, one of those like larger kind of studio headsets. This thing plugs into uh, most of those types of headphones and then you use it as a mic. Um, so it's not really a headset, I'm sorry, it's, it's a headset microphone. But this thing is $29, $29 or so, it's 30 bucks. It's called the V-Moda 
Boom Pro Gaming, you know, voice over IP headset microphone. And it is a great little microphone. So if you're, if you're not going to invest in like the arm with all the stuff, the other thing I just showed you, or if you want to use it actually for a different thing, you know, it's not easy to have this arm in front of you if you're doing like a video interview because the mic will be kind of in your face. People can't see you as much. Um, you can't adjust the sensitivity, of course, and have the arm slightly out of camera and the, the mic will still pick you up. Of course, it's better if it's close to your mouth and you speak right into it with the sensitivity turned down. Otherwise, you'll get background noise. But another solution is to use uh, one of these Vmoda little uh, headset microphones. It's very, very clear um, and it does a very, very good job. And one of my very dear friends, Dean Jackson, who's a fantastic marketer, he happens to run a very successful podcast called the I Love Marketing Podcast. And maybe you've seen it or, or listened to it. And he often uses this actual $30 headset microphone in order to do his interviews and um, his recordings. And as, you, as you'll hear in the audio, it's uh, great quality and whatever, but it's only 30 bucks. Anyway, so those are some quick recommendations because people always ask me, oh, can you recommend this or this or what do you use? And people like to kind of see the behind the scenes of, of what I'm using myself. So those are a few products uh, uh, that I recommend that I actually own and actually use for recording.